Before starting the lesson today, I would like you to look at the phrase triple E at your fingertips and guess what it means. 30 seconds for you to give the answers. Thumbs up. So, do you have the answer? The triple E means easy, effective, and English. So, the phrase triple E at your fingertips means easy, effective English at your fingertips. Now, look at the pictures in your textbook. What are the students doing? The students are learning English with computers. What else? Maybe they are searching the internet for information or they are using a web page to study English. What do you think you are going to listen about today? It might be something related to using electronic devices to study English easily and effectively, right? Today, we continue to learn Unit H, New Ways to Learn. Lesson 5, Listening. Triple E at your fingertips. We will listen for specific information about using electronic devices to study English. Now, look at task 2 in your textbook. Before listening to a teacher giving instructions on how to use online English language materials, we will predict whether the following statements are true or false. First, I will introduce some new words. Let's look at the first sentence. Are there any difficult words or phrases? Do you know the meaning of the phrase, get tired of? Get tired of something or get tired of doing something means no longer wanting something or wanting to do something because you are bored with it or annoyed by it. The Vietnamese meaning is chẳng cả gì hoặc là làm gì. How about the second sentence? Can you guess the meaning of the word mean? Its definition is to have something as a meaning in the same or another language. The Vietnamese equivalent is nghĩa là hoặc có nghĩa là. Next, look at sentence number 4. The word I want you to focus on is quiz. It means a competition or game in which people try to answer questions to test their knowledge. In Vietnamese, it means cuộc thi đổ vui. And the last sentence, we pay attention to the word record. It means to store sounds or moving pictures using electronic equipment so that they can be heard or seen later. Its Vietnamese meaning is ghi âm ghi hình. Okay, we've gone through four words and phrases in the first part of the lesson. Now, three minutes for you to copy down. Finish? Well done. What should we do next? Highlight the keywords in each statement, of course. Look at the first sentence. What should be focused on? Apparently, we have students, never get tired of, books, blackboards, cassettes, and CD players. In the second sentence, what are they? Triple E and easy effective English. Which words and phrases we have to pay attention to in the third sentence? We will highlight type, keywords, click, search engine button, and hundreds of websites. For sentence number four, 
very few sights, exciting lessons, activities, quizzes, English learners, on ages, and levels should be highlighted. The last one is important to focus on size. Record your own voice, and don't forget to highlight. Listen to yourself. We have just highlighted the important words and phrases in each sentence. Now, what you need to do is to predict whether the statements are true or false. One minute for you to predict. Thumbs up. Now, listen to a teacher giving instructions on how to use online English language materials, and check your predictions. Are you ready? Let's start. Well, I guess sometimes you may feel disappointed by your bad grades and get tired of things like books, blackboards, cassettes, and CD players. No worries. I'll show you how to learn English easily and effectively, just with your fingertips. Have you heard of Triple E? It means easy, effective English. How can learning English be easy but effective? The secret is so simple. Use electronic devices to access and take advantage of online English language materials. There are many good websites on the internet. All you need to do is type some keywords and click on the search engine button. Instantly, you see hundreds of web pages on the screen, and open the ones you like. Many sites offer exciting lessons, activities, and quizzes for English learners of all ages and levels. There are pictures. Games and explanations, which are useful for learning vocabulary and grammar. Do you want to improve your listening, speaking, and pronunciation? Practice online with native speakers. Choose the sites where you can record your own voice and listen to yourself. Everything is so fast and convenient; just one click away. Obviously, technology has made learning English easy and efficient, and increased your chance of success. Okay, it's time to give you the answers. The first statement: Is it true or false? The answer is false. So why? In the statement, we have the phrase. Students never get tired of, but according to the recording, sometimes you may feel disappointed by your bad grades and get tired of things like books, blackboards, cassettes, and CD players. This statement has incorrect information, so it's false. How about the second statement? Have you caught the word triple E? In the transcript, you can hear it means easy, effective English. So the answer is two. We move on to the next sentence. I hope you get the information. All you need to do is type some keywords and click on the search engine button. Instantly, you see hundreds of web pages on the screen, and open the ones you like. So, is it true or false? Obviously, it's true. What is the answer for sentence number four? The answer is false. But why? If you got the information. Many sites offer exciting lessons, activities, and quizzes for English learners of all ages and levels. You might choose the correct answer. As you can see, 
The correct information is many sides, not very few sides, right? How about the last statement? Did you catch any keywords in the audio? Choose the sides where you can record your own voice and listen to yourself. So the answer is two. We have practiced listening for specific information. Now look at task three. Listen to the recording again and complete the mixing information using no more than three words. One minute for you to read through five sentences first. Okay, before doing this task, pay attention to the instruction. Using no more than three words means that you cannot fill in the gaps with four words. The maximum is three words. How many blanks are there? Five, right? As usual, before listening, let's predict which words or phrases could be the answers. In this case, paying attention to the parts of speech of the words or phrases in the blanks is important. Firstly, pay attention to the phrase of learn English with the verb learn. The word or phrase in the blank might be an adverb. We continue with the second blank. We have the phrase Use electronic devices too. So, the missing words or phrases in this gap may be a verb infinitive. What might be the answer for the next blank? Do you have any idea? As you can see, we have use soon for and and grammar. After the preposition for, the word or phrase in this blank can be a noun or a judgment. How about the next one? It's obvious to fill in this gap with a noun or a noun phrase because the preposition with stands in front of this gap. Moving on to the last blank, we should focus on increased your the gap after the possessive adjective, your, can be a noun or a noun phrase. Now, listen to the recording again to do the task. Listen again and complete the following sentences by writing no more than three words. Well, I guess sometimes you may feel disappointed by your bad grades and get tired of things like books, blackboards, cassettes, and CD players. No worries. I'll show you how to learn English easily and effectively just with your fingertips. Have you heard of triple E? It means easy, effective English. How can learning English be easy but effective? The secret is so simple. Use electronic devices to access and take advantage of online English language materials. There are many good websites on the internet. All you need to do is type some keywords and click on the search engine button. Instantly, you see hundreds of web pages on the screen and open the ones you like. Many sites offer exciting lessons, activities, and quizzes for English learners of all ages and levels. There are pictures, games, and explanations, which are useful for learning vocabulary and grammar. Do you want to improve your listening, speaking, and pronunciation? Practice online with native speakers. Choose the sites where you can record your own voice and listen to yourself. Everything is so fast and convenient. Just one click away. Obviously, technology has made learning English easy and efficient 
and increased your chance of success. Have you finished yet? Let's check the answers. The answer for number one is watch. Easily and effectively. It matches with what we have predicted. How about number two? As we have guessed, the answer is access and tick. How about the next one? Learning vocabulary is what we need for this gap. Gap number four is filled in with native speakers. The answer for the last one is watch. Chance of success is our answer. I think you have known more about how to use online English language materials. Now, let's move on to task 4. You will make a speech on the following topic. Studying English with modern technology. To make a speech on the given topic, you have to answer to following questions. First, what are some types of modern technology that can help you study English? Second, what are the benefits of using modern technology to help you study English? Now, two minutes for you to brainstorm. Thumbs up. Do you have any ideas for the speech? Let me give you some suggestions. There are many types of modern technology that can help you study English, such as computers, laptops, tablets, smartphones, and so on. And what are the benefits of using modern technology to help you study English? Here are some examples. Modern electronic devices can help learners access online materials, look up new words, download, and store digital lessons or take notes. Here is a sample that can help you shape what you are going to speak. For example, in my opinion, using modern technology helps me learn English more easily and effectively. Firstly, I can use online dictionary on my smartphone to look up new words. Furthermore, I can improve my speaking and listening skills thanks to downloading and storing online English materials with my laptop. Now, 3 minutes to make your own speech. Remember to send your audio file to your English teacher for feedback. This is the end of our lesson. Today, we have listened for specific information about using electronic devices to study English. What should you do at home? Learning vocabulary is needed. And don't forget to prepare for the next lesson. Thank you for your attention today. See you next time.